going guys? Uh, welcome to episode 6. Uh, today we're going to be replacing uh, our roof fans, replacing them with some Max Air Deluxe fans and uh, working on uh, our concrete pad. Uh, putting some clay in uh, so we can get this thing in the shop. Hopefully uh, we get all that done in time and get it in the shop for winter. And uh, replace some of the lights with LEDs and yeah, should be good. We'll see you in a bit. One thing I don't think we have showed you guys yet is at the front of the Winnebago we got a little sticker collection here. Alright guys, I just got back from the RV store, I got uh, some new ceiling vents. So as you can see, these old vents uh, weren't ever screwed in, there's no screws at all. They're actually held in by the inside retaining plate there, all the way around. So I'll have to go inside and unscrew those. So we'll take these off from the inside. This all scraped off and pull this vent out. Oh, this silicone is so long. Vent number one installed. Looks brand new. Looks good. Just gotta put uh, four screws in it to hold it in place. And we'll move on to the next ones. Alright, these four screws in. Alright, guys, so we'll start this one. Well, if I get this fan in, we'll be able to turn it on. Just make sure your grommets are nice and tight. Give them a pull. Alright guys, got our fans working. Turned out pretty good. guys got uh, one two vents done I got two more coming on Tuesday bought some max air fans so those will be nice they'll go one right there and one up front there and now we're gonna do some uh, Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything And when I feel like this, I'm a mortal And when I feel like this, I'm a mortal 
decided uh, what kind of door we're going to get for um, the bathroom. It had an old folding door. I think you can go back to our first video and check that out if you really wanted to. Well, there you guys have it. The bus is all lit up in LED lights. Alright guys, so we have I think it's the original. Um, if it was, it was never really used that much. It's still got the stickers, the Winnebago sticker on it. Maybe build in a subfloor and stuff. But I don't really know what I'm talking about, so. CLR. This bad boy up and reuse it. I just got home from work. Great surprise. Amazon delivery came in. We got our Max Van Deluxe. Very exciting, very exciting. So we had to put the Winnebago on hold for the weekend. Uh, frame in, rebar, we got a new sidewalk going in here along our house and then we'll have a garden bed going in the back there. Flower bed, I guess I should say. Got a concrete pad going in for our garage. <laughs> Pile of gravel. We got a truck and trailer dropping off some clay. Uh, we finally got all the water drained out back there. And we also have a guy moving some trees. Nice blue spruce going in along the back. Tree truck! The old water wagon out, watering some of these new blue spruce. At the park, the Winnie over here, out of the way. Looking 
scared of the glass. Beautiful fall day. Or concrete. <laughs> I'm actually not going to go too crazy fast today. No Right. If you haven't uh, subscribed and uh, liked the uh, videos already, uh, start back at episode one and follow us along on our vintage RV makeover. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, episode six, uh, episode seven, in the next coming few weeks. Uh, hopefully, we can get everything done in the shop in time and. Uh, Get it all done. We got uh, most of our gravel and clay in here, and we can actually get into that door now. Now we just need to frame up and rebar the shop. Hopefully, get some concrete poured before winter. If not, uh, we'll work in there while, while without a floor. So that should be fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon.